So welcome everybody to September 5th or to this general meeting. Uh, I'm going to pass it over. Well, let me, I can start off real quick. Um, just some basic uh, updates. Um, our Azure cluster, uh, I'm in the process of taking that down because the Linux Foundation stopped um, paying for the bill. Um, so we're going to have to find an alternative, and which is okay because with uh, Sasha and Arvin's work on Ortelius in a Box, um, we have a way to do all run our clusters locally uh, for development. So I think we're going to be good on that front. But that is going uh, is coming down. Um, and and Steve, the, how are we going to run the, our pipelines that we have? Uh, is that just all through GitHub Actions right now? Yeah, all, okay. all of our all of our builds and all of our um, creation and all that, our security scans and all that stuff of our containers all happen in our GitHub Actions. Cool. So, and that's all free as part of our GitHub uh, account. Um, and then you probably have been noticing a lot of uh, stuff happening on the GitHub notifications. Uh, thanks to Sasha and Arvin suggesting that we implement Renovate, which is like a, a, a different version. It's more of like an open source version of Dependabot. Um, I was able to roll that out to all of our uh, coding repos uh, last at the end of last week and over the weekend. So I think we're all caught up um, with uh, our dependencies to be automatically updated and merged. Um, so that's going to help a lot uh, on that front. I have a couple few little tweaks to do just to clean some stuff up, but overall it's running uh, well. And I think that's going to uh, help uh, help keep us on top of everything. Those are the, the, the main things I have going on that I wanted to, to bring up. Tracy, what was on your list? So we just uh, I'll just cover the topics for the uh, community, the general um, outreach. Um, we have uh, we're we're ready for Hacktoberfest on the outreach side. Our blog has been uh, is up and has been posted. Let me quickly go there so I can share my screen so everybody can see the blog is ready to go. All right, so here's the Hacktoberfest blog. It is up. Uh, the uh, CDF, uh, Roxanne at the CDF will be pushing this out, but please push this out as well. So people know that Ortelius is part of the um, project, the Hacktoberfest project. Uh, we have now milestones. So over the uh, summer, uh, Steve and I worked to clean up the, the repo. If you haven't seen what we've done, I suggest you go out there. But we have uh, three, uh, two milestones that we're publishing for getting Hacktoberfest pull requests completed on, plus the Emporis project, and they will also have to do some create some uh, uh, pull requests for Emporis, and then outreach. So, Sime, I'm going to uh, uh, push it over to you to to if there's blogs that you think people should do or videos, uh, you can um, create uh, issues out there and label them with the Hacktoberfest label. So you do have your own um, your own uh, project that you can manage. Now on that topic, we did create what we call areas. Uh, there's in in the Ortelius outreach area. There are uh, there. I mean, the in the Ortelius project, there are areas for blogs and general administration. So there may be some things in general administration time that that we haven't done yet that you might want to do um, in terms of any. I don't know. Uh, automation, like right now, we still need a Wikipedia entry for Artilius. That might be a great uh, Hacktoberfest uh, item. So if you want to take a look at that sign and, uh, and you know, think about some potential uh, outreach. Uh, for example, one of the things that we, we could uh, ask for is some more artwork. Uh, if we could get somebody to do artwork for like an Artilius image from India, an Artilius image from the U.S., an Artilius image from uh, South Africa, uh, one from Ghana that represents some of our folks, just like they did with Jenkins. You know, Jenkins has some really cool um, icons. Uh, we have New Mexico's Jenkins icon is an alien. 
<laughs> of course, <laughs> which is one of the reasons why I pulled that idea out to create our original Ortilius uh, uh, logo. So that's happening in one month. And the sooner we get, we have to have all of these uh, tagged by October 1st. So we have just shy of a month to do that. Um, the other thing is this article came out, Syme. I don't know if you've read it yet. Um, I have been pushing it out. So some of you have been on calls with me, may have already have this, but if you don't have it, let me put it in the chat real quick here. And I am thinking, Syme, that we might want to reach out to um, Heidi or Hope and do a podcast with them to talk about this. So I, I think that would be a, a really good way to kick off the um, uh, our fall season. Uh, this is these are some pretty amazing numbers, and this claims that uh, Jenkins still shares approximately forty four percent of the market for CI/CD. Uh, I think that Jenkins needs some love, and it would be good for us to bring Cloudbees over and ask him to do a podcast. And we can also do it as a podcast slash. CICD uh, meetup or Tilius meetup. So we could combine all three. So let me know if you need help reaching out to them or what you might want to do is CC me on that because uh, Hope and Heidi both know who I am. Yeah, yeah. so what I do is I'm actually add, sending you an email and then you connect me with those people. Okay, we will do. I would just send it. Article. I would just send it. To, in... Just send it to press at Cloudbees because it's going to go to Hope and Heidi both. Oh, got it. Like I think it's better. Like it's better. Like if I can tag you, and then you can tag them in. Okay, that's fine. We can get them forward. Well, they. I think both of these ladies are contractors now for Cloudbees, so they may not have a Cloudbees uh, email. Yeah, so I will try to check like if, if these are available in the CDF Foundation Slack channel. Okay. Yeah, but if we, let just uh, let's just reach yeah. out to them. I'll look to see if I have their uh, their their private emails as well, and I may, and then we can reach out that way as well. And what I'll, what let me let, what I'll do is this: I will reach out to them and CC you, and say, "Hey, Heidi and Hope, we're thinking about doing a." A CDF meetup or and podcast on your on your uh, Jenkins pro, uh, uh, project re growth report, and would you like to participate? In it I'm sure they will. So uh, I'll send the email to NCCU on it and let them know that you're going to be coordinating. Yes, absolutely. So what I do like for the next podcast, I will create some script and share with you and all the other team member, so they can basically okay. add our stuff on the doc. So during the conversation, I can mold the conversation towards our work that we're doing here. So basically, I need you and Steve help to some of the questionnaire and asking of session, answering yep. of the podcast. Will do, no problem whatsoever. I, um, I will um, I get that done. So those are the those are the things that we have to think about immediately. I think getting at the podcast started again, getting the um, getting a meetup going. We should probably try to get it for early October, because um, it's already early September. We wouldn't be able to pull it together anytime sooner. So if we can do it in early October, that would be great. And Hacktoberfest is starting then too, so we can just kind of push everything at once. So we'll have just a big push for Artilius and Jenkins in October. And right now, that's kind of a, a lot. Um, Simon, Arvin, I have given you guys both um, access to Hootsuite. Do you both have it? Uh, yes. Rizzi, let me check, start, like. Yeah, start posting out there. I, you know, I spend a lot so of is, time. Is it an email? Can you share again because I haven't seen an email? Yeah, you should have. We actually purchased one for you, uh, Sime. Oh, I don't know why I just logged out. Um, uh, sorry, Tracy, I'm just saying, like, I haven't received an email for the credential. 
might be it's been a while a it's been a I'll while it would probably would have been you can like, actually check and give me access again yeah we'll do it's been a while we I probably did it in june let me see here i get I it. Did stuff that. okay let's see i hope my resources Where the heck is the settings? All right, I'll have to look it up and find out uh, what's up with that and send you a, a reminder that you are part of the team. Because I know you are part of the team. I added you, you but, but we need to, so if I go, go over, look at my, go look at my planner. And I go to um, Ortelius. I have stuff going on out there, but it's not as often as it should be. And I don't think this, uh, so I have a couple of things going out this week. So I have, try to have, here's one post today, two tomorrow. I've got nothing going on on Wednesday. I got one for Thursday and it doesn't look like anything for Friday. I think last week I tried to have something going on as, no, I only had one post last week. So we've been pretty sleepy when it comes to social posting. So we need to get that running again. Um, I do have stuff out there, uh, but it's just not that much. Um, and so I, I will get that done. And so if the two of you can start looking at posting, um, it, and it can just be informational. It doesn't have to be uh, anything about Artilius. It can be informational about microservices, about security, um, about what might be happening at the CNCF or the Open SSF or the CDF. Uh, you can share blogs that they post. So if, if I could get you guys to help with that and, and Simon, I'll make sure that you have uh, access to it. And Tracy does like a, a, a retreat or repost um, help. Oh yeah, if you, it, it, yes. So if you, I think you can both log into, so from here, see if you can't do that. But maybe you can if you go to streams. Yeah, Twitter is really not working very well. So from here, so I, I have these streams set up. So I could go in here and I could just retweet this, shaping the future of Linux. So both of you have should have access to these. So you should be able to to do that. So you can go go in here and Steve's got a post for. Um, open SSF, uh, you can like it. And that's all going to come from the, right now, this is all being done through Deploy Hub because that's who I'm logged in as. But I can change, I, I can change my profile, but you guys won't be able to do that. You'll just have a, you'll just be on part of the team for Ortilius. But you should have these streams that are set up for Ortilius. If they're not there, you can set them up. So if uh, I could get help on, on this, it would be pretty huge. And that's all I have really for getting the the getting September started. We just need to think about what our next podcast is going to be and start getting ready for Hacktoberfest. Yes. So Tracy, like I think it, one of the email that I'm circulating with the Red Hat team, and I think Maria, I forget the name of the lady, she replied, but there's a very long time we have spoke about it. Do I initiate another discussion around podcast on importers? On let's get, let's get the let's get the let's just focus on getting the Jenkins one out now because that's going to get that's probably going to give us the most um, views. Uh, and I will speak with uh, the the Red Hat team that would include um, you're talking you're, you're talking about Anne Marie Fred. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, see what she uh, she was moving over the course of the summer, so I think she's been distracted. She moved and from Germany back to I think North Carolina, so she has landed. When she the last call I was on, she was had her her Zoom set up, and all we could see were piles of boxes behind her. So I think she's been distracted. She'll probably get uh, into it again if we ping her and say, "Hey, we'd like to do something for November." And she may not be a hundred percent the one for doing stuff talks around Emporus because that would be Andy that would be Andy Block. Yeah. But, yes, Andy. Yeah. But she she does have some 
insight because I know she um, works on a lot. There's a lot of overlapping projects in Red Hat. So um, just to throw that out there. The other thing that did come up, uh, I had a call with Siddharth yesterday, and they would like to do a, uh, a Hacktoberfest kind of thing. They want to do a hackathon uh, internal to NatWest, and they're thinking about doing that around Ortilius and uh, uh, a hackathon around potentially bringing in more security tooling around Ortilius. I told them I thought it was a great idea after March. Uh, March is the the date that we want to get the new front end delivered. And right now we don't want anybody making updates to the, the front end to do any more integrations. So I told them that we would be thinking about that uh, first of the year. So that 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 potentially is on, on the horizon. Uh, Tony and I are scheduled to go out and speak at um, Open Group, which is a security conference on, I think it's potentially November 1st or November 2nd. Uh, Steve and I have also, on uh, the Deploy Hub side, just so everybody knows, I try to keep it transparent what we're doing. Uh, we are really focusing on Space Force, and we have applied to uh, have Deploy Hub be a part of the Cyber uh, or the Hyperspace Challenge, which is part of the Space Force initiative to bring in small companies. Um, and if that would would, to hap would happen, it would uh, it would increase visibility for Ortilius because they we've made it clear that it's a open uh, source core and Ortilius is the core. And that's all I got on the outreach side. Now, are you are you gonna you guys gonna be away for part of September? Thank you for reminding me. Yes, Steve and I are taking vacation the last two weeks of September. In fact, a, two weeks from today, which I'm not sure if we have a, we'll be arriving, in, we're going to Europe and we arrive there on the morning of the 18th. So I don't think we have anything going on that day. Um, we do have a general community meeting on on. Uh, Tuesday the 19th, and I may ask somebody else to take that over, but we should be able to join that. It just depends, I guess, what time is it going to be Be in the late afternoon? Yeah, we, we will potentially try to hold that, but if somebody else could do that for us, it would be great. Let, let me suggest you actually be on vacation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that's a really good recommendation. <laughs> it, it's all these years, Tony, I've always worked on vacation at, got, at some point. <laughs> I we, know. Even have, we got it. We even got a, a, a little house that has a room with a, a desk and whatnot. So we have a place to work. <laughs> it's a very American thing. No question about it. I know. <laughs> but yes, we would like to not do that. So if somebody else can start that meeting um, and make sure that that meeting can get started by somebody else. Uh, Sam, do you think you could take on that uh community meeting on the 19th of September? Yes, absolutely. Okay, we'll just make sure that you have access uh, to run that meeting and record it. That's the harder part, Steve, just make sure you show him how he has to, to record it. Yes, absolutely. You're on mute. Steve, you're on mute. Hey, Steve, you're on mute. I, I will figure out which meeting it is and get the host key over to Syme so you can claim host. And then I yeah. think the following but I think week... The I think the recording option will be visible to you only, Steve. Uh, once you have the host key, you could, you could go into... Um, you go into the participants panel on Zoom okay. and you say there's a, a button that says claim host. Right now it's disabled because I already claimed host. Um, and then I'll ask you to put in the host key and I'll give you that number. Oh, I said, it. and then and then you're going to be host, and you can hit the record button. I just have to figure out um, which account it's under to give you the right host key. Got it, got it. But I will so get that off to you. About, got it. So, just you're talking about 19th of September. Yes, and got then it. there is a then the outreach meeting, which would generally fall on your lap, is on the 25th. Um, we can just cancel that one. I think we could just cancel that one. And then on the 28th, um, somebody needs to take over the architecture call. 
We usually get uh, Ukarsh to do it. Steve, can you reach out to Ukarsh to see if he can run that one? Uh, yep. If not, we could do Sasha or Arvin. Okay. So I will. I will get that sorted out. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel this one. Just the just the one on the um, the outre outreach on the 25th. Tony, thank you for reminding me of that. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> think yeah, that I would be able to burnout run. in uh, people like you and Steve is kind of important. Yes, we've been running small companies for so long; it just becomes second nature just to go. Oh yeah, we have a meeting we have to go to <laughs> while we're on vacation. One time we were in Mexico, and poor Steve stayed in the lobby the almost the entire vacation working on issues. That was the only place he could get access. It was pretty sad, actually. In which country you are going? So, Steve, is there anything on the architecture side you want to cover? Um, I think getting the Hacktoberfest uh, pull request set up is the most important thing that team can do in the in the next uh, two weeks. Yep, that's the main thing. Um, and our one for just as we get started, I we got the renovate in place for dependency management. Uh, like you said, we got the projects out there. The project boards are out there with milestones and areas. Um, we will, in the next two weeks, need to get some more issues out there tagged for Hacktoberfest. And I don't know if Digital Ocean has set up their site yet um, with the rules. Uh, I have to review that. I uh, think I did find it, and I thought I put it updated the blog to... to uh show where you can register for it. Let me see if I can find that real quick. I was going to send everybody an email and say, don't forget to register for D Digital Oceans. And here's the blog. So I'll take care of that, Steve. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like the digital. Well, I don't know if that's the digital ocean one. Here is the website for it. Yeah, that's the one I want to. Just... That should be it. That's Hacktoberfest 2023. It says 21 days, two hours, and four minutes. Yeah. Their 10th anniversary. So that will be the only thing that we'll need to do um, leading up to it is make sure people are registered on um, the Hacktoberfest website before we start. And I will send an email out to let everybody know that uh, we're back on for meetings and Hacktoberfest is starting and here's where you sign up. Yeah. So that's the main stuff that we got going on. Any bills have anything? All righty. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Good to see everyone. Take care. Okay. You too. Bye. -bye. Bye.